you're hung. Oh. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So about a week ago, I asked you guys to give your assumptions about me on a poll on Instagram and just, you know, things that you would assume about me. And I decided to do them in a video and <laughs> we'll be unboxing this Barbie Extra number one because I want to unbox her on camera, but I feel like the Barbie Extra hype train has kind of left. So I figured I might as well unbox her while we are doing assumptions about me. Also, disclaimer, there is a sexual nature to some of these assumptions, and if that's stuff you don't wanna know about me, that's totally fine. I can see you in another video when I'm just unboxing a doll regularly. <laughs> okay, so question number one is, you have family from Minnesota, and <laughs> no I don't. I know I look like a podunky Midwesterner, but I'm actually from Idaho the state where your potatoes come from, unless you're like on the East Coast and they probably come from like Maine or some other trash potato place, but the best potatoes are from Idaho. So no, I'm not from Minnesota, even though I kind of look like it. Tabs back here, not even working. Assumption number two is you're not an MGA or Mattel whore. Um, that is very true. I have no allegiance to any of them. I have said before in the past though, that if I had to pick like gun to my head, I could only do one for the rest of my life. It would be Barbie because I have six decades of products to choose from and her proportions are my preferred proportions. The big fat Betty Boop alien heads on like the Rainbow Highs, the Bratz dolls and the LOL OMGs. It's not my favorite. I don't hate it. It's just not my preferred proportions. So yes, it would be Barbie. But no, I'm not like a whore for either of them. Um, I would probably accept PR from Mattel and MGA, but that would not influence my honesty on my channel and my decision making and stuff like that. But I'm not going to turn my nose up to free product. Okay, so assumption number three just says super gay, which um, I don't know where you got that idea. I don't know why a man with this beautiful mustache, this colorful shirt, all of these Barbies, and a search history that would make um, Ron Jeremy blush, <laughs> why I, you would think I'm gay, that's silly. Nah, just kidding, <laughs> totally gay. So number four is funny to me because it says, you are stuck up and that you think that you are better than other people. And, um, let me give you a little background on the person that sent that to me. <laughs> this is a human being who um, I like, like, no, you know, like, whatever. I think they're like a fun person and they have a Barbie collection I'm super jealous of. But this person who sent me this you are stuck up thing is also a person who privately sends me pornography says that I would do really good in this video where a bottom is getting tackled in a locker room by the whole entire team of football players and just sends me inappropriate stuff in general and i have always let it slide because not because i like want to prove i'm not stuck up or anything it's just stuff like that doesn't super duper bother me so i don't know where they're getting the idea that i could possibly be stuck up because i'm pretty sure if you send pornography to like other people that would be considered harassment um i don't consider it for me personally I'm not speaking on a general term like other people would consider that harassment I just think it's I don't know the gay community is just weird so uh no I personally don't think I'm stuck up I'm just a regular college student who dropped out a hundred times is super freaking poor has to door dash to buy his dolls and make a living I sleep on a futon like my studio is in my bedroom like more than half of my bedroom, I have focused on just like these dolls in the shelf and everything. So I would not consider myself stuck up, no. <laughs> nice try. But do I think I'm better than other people? Uh, um, I wouldn't say I'm better than other people, but I would say I'm not the kind of person that would break into the Capitol building with a bunch of 
Blue Lives Matter flags while beating up cops. So, so this says Verse King vibes, and oh my god, she's so cute. Ooh, ooh, I really like her. Oh my god. And then girl, she's got pixel face, but you can barely tell. You have to get in there, and it's not even that bad. Oh my god, she is look. Oh my god, she looks so cool. Okay, so Verse King vibes. Um. No, I'm definitely not verse. I am way too lazy for that. Like, kudos to the people that are verse. You guys are champions. Way too lazy for that. Oh my god, she looks so freaking cool. Okay. I'm really glad I got to open her. She looks really cute. Like, this rainbow, like, hooker coat. Oh my god, I love it. Yes, queen. Slay, bitch. Or whatever the kids say nowadays. So the next assumption is that you're mask for mask, and yes I am. Wear your damn mask. All jokes aside, no, I think the toxic masculinity in the gay community is absolutely appalling. We should know better. And just like I said in my things I don't need in 2020 video, you're, if it's your sexual preference, just keep your mouth shut and go after people that fit your preference. You don't need to tell us how masculine you are. You don't need to tell us that you're only attracted to masculine people. And yeah, so no, I am definitely not mask for mask. Um, do I love a manly man? Hell yeah, but I also love a bitch that knows how to blend their eyeshadow. Like, that's a queen I want to get down with too, so. You hate Barbie fashionistas? Um, no. <laughs> this, this is a fashionista extra. Um, I do not hate Barbie fashionistas at all. Um, the only thing I hate about the Barbie fashionistas is the graphic t-shirt dresses. It's just a silhouette that I'm just getting kind of bored with. But the fashionistas, if you go to Walmart, they're less than $8. And I think the availability, the price range, the accessibility, like I think that's great for Barbie fans, especially if you are not as financially well off as another Barbie fan. Like I have a bunch of silk stones and they were expensive as <laughs> And I can still appreciate a fashionista at the level it's at. They don't have the best articulation or anything, but they still have really cute face molds. And I think that they are like good for like head swapping or if you just can't afford Barbie, but you still love her. And at that price range, you can probably get a Barbie you love because there's just so many. And the representation in the Fashionista line, uh, it just warms my heart because there's so many. And it's not just like about different races, ethnicities, stuff like that, um, hair texture. It also has male representation. It has different body type representation. It has mobility representation, like whether people have less or more mobility. Like, and I think that's really cool. So no, I really do like the fashionistas for what they are and the price point. Like, and you have to set your expectations at that. So I think for $8 hunks of plastic, they do a really good job. If you are confident in your opinions, and you're not afraid to be vocal about them. Absolutely, that's what this whole channel's about. Um, I was getting really sick and tired of watching adult doll content that was just so ass kissy and people like not telling the truth or you'd see them beat around the bush if there wasn't something good about a doll. And I'm sorry, but if I'm spending my money on these bitches and I go to a page to like see a review on a doll, I want to know everything about the doll. And just because there's bad stuff with the doll doesn't mean that I don't think it's still not worth buying. Like there was somebody bitching the other day because I was talking about MGA series two dolls and just some of the issues I've been having with them. And they're like, well, if you do that, you're gonna make people miss out on these fabulous dolls because you pointed out a couple of flaws. And I'm like, I don't, we're all adults here. Objectively, you can take everything I say with a grain of salt. If I say I don't like a doll because the hand popped off like two minutes after using it, that's like my situation. That's not everybody's. You can go do whatever you want to do. Um, but that's just like your thing. You go do that. It's totally fine. Like, I just, I was tired of seeing these channels that were talking in that boo-boo baby voice that I freaking hate and just lying to their subscribers about the dolls because they're on the PR list or something. Like, I think that's fine. 
and yeah, um, my opinions are my opinions, and I just try to be as honest as I can on this channel from my own perception, and that's what my channel's all about. That's why people subscribe. I get way more comments saying I love how honest you are over, like, hate comments or anything. You're a gay twink. Nope. So, so extra, baby! So, so, so extra, baby! So, the next one is truthful. And yes, that is what I try to do on my channel. There may be some earlier videos where I was more just trying to get like my footing and everything, but from the beginning, I always wanted to be as honest on this channel as possible because like I said earlier, I was tired of people lying to their subscribers about dolls. I would consider myself pretty truthful. I mean, um, and I used to be weird about stuff. Like I remember one time I was doing something in a video and then my friends like, Oh, you should like edit around that and I even thought like that was dishonest and I when I was a teenager you know because like teenagers go through their things or whatever I was like I want to say a pathological liar because I don't want to water down the significance of somebody who actually has like a mental issue but I I lied on the daily. I lied about small things, big things, everything. I lied so much when I was younger that one time it like, it hurt my grandmother so much and she started crying and it just, that was when I started flipping around and try, started being more honest. And sometimes I think I'm honest to like a fault. Like it, I, if I was ever being investigated by like the FBI or something, I would get myself in so much trouble because I'm just that honest now. And it took me a while to get there because you have to kind of break down those walls and everything to end up being that honest. And yeah, I would say that. I'm also brutally honest and I'm an Aries. But that's like part of being an Aries is just being really honest. So the next one, well endowed? No. <laughs> um, maybe like seven and a half inches. I'm not like 100% sure. I don't super duper measure. Um, if I ever lose that 30 pounds and start an OnlyFans, I mean, I guess you'll find out. You are quite shy in person. No, I am not. Um, I may, I used to be because of like insecurity issues because I had a shit ton of acne and my face always just looked really bad. And I remember being kind of shy back then. And, um, I was like the only out kid because, um, I was forcibly outed in the sixth grade, I guess, by um, my sixth grade teacher. Uh, shout out to Mrs. Johnson, who's now a principal. Um, off, you were a terrible person. Um, anyway, I had a teacher who I was writing in my diary talking about my boyfriend and everything, which was this kid I knew growing up. And she took my diary while I was at recess out of our locker, photocopied it, gave it to some mean girls, who ended up like showing the diary pages around the whole school. It was like this big thing. Um, I remember that that was the first time I ever saw my mom that angry and that defensive of me. And also shout out to my mom because she's always been such a boss ass lady and she's always been so supportive of me being gay. And I love that lady. But yeah, I remember that teacher basically outing me. So for like a huge amount of my life, I've just been out and I've had to be strong and sometimes being shy was a way to keep myself protected because if I didn't have attention on me it literally um it just kept bullies away I guess but no I don't think I'm a shy person anymore and in fact I used to do stand-up like a while back and um Nothing says I'm not shy like going up in front of a whole entire country club at a paid gig and having literally nobody laugh at your jokes and then boo you off the stage. Like it takes a special kind of person to not be shy to do that. So, <laughs> and then the last assumption about me is bottom, which, um, no, I wish if I were a bottom, I, I'm jealous of people who bottom and get like a ton of enjoyment out of it. Cause it looks like it would be a really fun time. I can't, I'm a pansy. I think it takes a real man to bottom, and um, yeah, I wish I could. I can't. <laughs> I mean, if you hit my prostate, I just feel like I have to pee. God, I'm going to get demonetized. Anyway, so no, I would not say I'm a bottom.
So yeah, guys, those are um, your assumptions about me. If you have any more assumptions, comment them down below and I'll try to answer them. Thank you so much for participating. Um, I love her. This Barbie extra is so freaking cute. Um, I'm so glad I got to open her on camera and everything because like I said, she wasn't like as relevant anymore because the Barbie fashionistas, they kind of have their track and there's enough videos out about them now that I think you guys get the idea. But I'm super glad to have her in my collection now because I bought her shit like last year and she barely showed up like a couple days ago off Amazon because she was on pre-order. She kept getting pushed back. But yeah, I love her. Um, thank you guys for so much and um, I hope this answered some questions. Uh, uh, I Like I said, I'm a pretty honest person. You can ask me a lot of things and I'll be pretty direct. There are some things I don't like discussing, but yeah. Um, I will, thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. Also Mattel, stop giving me pets. Bye.